we have the topic of focus on the workforce, health and wellness and heritage because I think it has been a bit difficult for everyone, for the community, but also for the workers and the people who are, you know, we're here every day, we're trying our hardest. And sometimes we need a little bit more health and support for everyone as well. So we have some great speakers lined up today, hopefully some really good talks and then afternoon sessions as well. I would like to take time to introduce Ellen, who will be your Masters of Ceremonies today. And <laughs> Masters of Ceremonies, so fancy title. So, and she'll just be walking you through the day. So that's Ellen, and have a great day, everyone. Oh, are you gonna talk about the toilets and stuff? Are you gonna talk? Oh, yes. Oh, she's gonna give you the, um, the housekeeping things. <laughs> okay, so a bit of housekeeping for everyone. Hi, I'm Ellen. I'm also American, very loud. Um, <laughs> So if you're looking for just emergency exits for the day for fire exits, if we're going to, in the case of a fire, we're going to exit out this door and go down the stairs, exit out the building to the nearest exit possible. Um, and there's also fire exits there as well out the back that way in the other stairwell. Um, and with that out of the way, toilets, if there's a speaker speaking at the time, I just ask that you use this door to exit out, go out the way that you came in this hall and just go down to the left to the end of the hall to use those toilets on the left. If we're in between break, there is a closer toilet just here out the door at the end of the hall here, which is much closer, okay? All right, so today, I'm very excited you're all here. Can everyone hear me at this volume? Perfect, I think the room is small enough where we won't have to use too many microphones, but if you ever do need one, we do have them available. Um, so today, this morning, I hope you all enjoyed either touring the library or going to um, Andrew Carnegie's Birthplace Museum. Um, we really lovely collections at both of them. Um, and then if no one else has any other questions, I think we'll get started. Just so you know, if you're on social media today, please use the hashtag there to tag us in. All right, very fancy, very fancy. Um, and the Wi-Fi is just the Dunfermline DCLG library. It's open access though, so just it's a little registration page and that's it. Um, tea and coffee is just through there to the right. Please feel more than free to get some. Lunch will be delivered at 11, half 11 and we'll have lunch at half 12 with no breaks included. At this time, I'd like to invite Dr. Laura Noakes up who is one of the research assistant, assistants. Oh, sorry, pardon me. Oh, well, yeah, it's Christine McLean. Sorry, I didn't get updated on the thing. I'd like to update you and get you up here to start off the conference. Perfect. Um, good morning and, and welcome to Dunfermline Carnegie Library and Galleries. Uh, I'm Christine McLean. I'm Head of Cultural Heritage and Wellbeing with On Fife, and you've met some of the staff this morning and hopefully had a, a chance to have a look around the museum and gallery here. Uh, this is our flagship site. Uh, we have two other large sites in Fife, Kirkcaldy Galleries and St Andrew's Museum. We have four smaller heritage displays across Fife. Um, we're also responsible for four theatres um, across the, the region and 35 libraries. And the libraries make up the well-being part of the cultural heritage and well-being. I'm delighted to see everybody here in person. It has been uh, a tough two years for the sector. It's been a tough two years for us. What we are focusing on now at on Fife is a two-year recovery and renewal strategy that will bring us out of the pandemic. And the key aim of our strategy is to bring people back, to bring people back to our services and to our venues. And underpinning that, we have three priorities, uh, one of which is living at our values. The second is financial sustainability. And the third is being relevant to communities. So that's very much the focus of the work that we are doing. In terms of well-being, the clues in the name, the, the job title is cultural heritage and well-being. So we have a strong focus on community and audience well-being, and we are delivering that through a number of projects, one of which is Dunfermline Wellbeing Through Heritage, a partnership project with the heritage organisations in the immediate vicinity here and across West Fife, and that's a, a three-year NLHF funded project that got underway uh, towards the end of, of last year. We also have a strong focus on our workforce well-being. So as part of our recovery and renewal strategy, we're bringing in a, a number of initiatives to support our staff, uh, particularly our frontline staff. We are looking again at our code of conduct and our appraisal system. We currently already have a people's forum, uh, a monthly opportunity to get together currently online 
with our exec team and an opportunity to hear from different members of staff across the organisation. And we have a very open um, participatory you tell us comments, feedback, su suggestion system to encourage frontline staff particularly to, to be be involved in, in that. I also want to just quickly um, mention a uh, Museums Gallery Scotland funded project um, we just completed earlier this year, Connecting Communities. And some of you have been on the tour just as you were going into the museum. You may have noticed a map with lots of stickers asking where, where have you come from. So this initiative funded out of the COVID Relief Fund enabled us to work with around 20 of our front of house staff to shape the data that we collect from our visitors, the methodology of, of how we collect that data and then what we do with that data. And the reason I'm mentioning this is in the context of um, workforce wellbeing because this was an opportunity for us to really uh, empower the frontline staff to give them the opportunity to, to decide how to engage with visitors and how to gather information that will actually help us become more relevant to those audiences going forwards. I'd like to just make a little pitch if the, the Fed are interested in a presentation on that at another time. Uh, I would love to talk to you about that and to involve our, our frontline staff. I think that's probably all you need to hear from me. You've got a packed agenda and I just hope you enjoy your day in Fife and I hope it clears up. Thank you.